In our next video in our series, looking at the link between autism spectrum disorder or ASD and the gut microbiome, we're looking to understand if restoring the gut microbiome using FMT could help impact autism related symptom presentation. If you don't know what FMT is, check out our other videos. In summary, fecal microbiota transplantation or FMT is the transfer of beneficial bacteria from the stool of a well screened healthy donor into the gastrointestinal tract of the patient to help improve gut health and restore the gut microbiome. So let's look to understand how restoring the gut microbiome may help children with autism spectrum disorder. Currently, no medical treatments are approved to treat the core symptoms associated with ASD, such as social communication difficulties and repetitive behaviors. And while science is looking to better understand ASD and its core symptom presentation, the relationship between the gut and autism have become a focus. FMT is a medical procedure being studied across a number of disease states that are associated with an unhealthy or damaged gut microbiome. And since children with ASD present with gastrointestinal issues, as well as an altered gut microbiome compared to their peers, the question of if restoring the gut microbiome may help not only with gut dysfunction, but also to help alter autism related behaviors has become an area of research interest. Though there's still a need for more large scale randomized clinical trials, there is promising clinical research to date focused on ASD and the manipulation of the gut microbiome using FMT. Now, while to what extent core ASD symptoms are correlated with, predict, or are predicted by the gut microbiome is unknown, the use of FMT has shown considerable potential in children with autism spectrum disorder. Generally, studies have found that FMT treatment in children with autism spectrum disorder leads to improved gastrointestinal symptoms, improved ASD-related symptoms, a shift in the gut microbiome towards that of their typically developing peers, changes in neurotransmitter levels, and changes in ASD severity. There is a need for more large scale clinical studies to really understand the impacts of FMT in children with ASD, but the results to date have been very promising. FMT has been shown not only to alleviate GI symptoms and restore the gut microbiome, but also impact ASD related behaviors. While research evidence shows that the gut microbiome is altered in children with ASD and this can impact ASD related behaviors, we're not sure if these changes in the gut microbiome or cause, consequence, or completely unrelated to ASD presentation. So overall, more research is needed. If you liked this video, check out our next video where we're going to do a deep dive on three studies utilizing FMT in children with autism spectrum disorder. We're looking at their protocols and the outcomes. If you want to know more about what I talked about today, read more or know where the information came from, check out our blog. The link is in the description.